Here is the one question you need to be asking your financial advisor in this crazy and turbulent time. Why don't you sell fixed index annuities? Now, before you fall back in your chair and you say, hold on a second, Andrew, I think I know a thing or two about annuities. You probably do but that thing or two may be actually wrong or outdated. You wanna ask them, why are more and more people by the hundreds of billions this year alone getting out of the market and going to safe products? Well, here's what the advisors are going to say they don't like about fixed index annuities. They're gonna say, number one, oh, there's surrender charges. So if you decide to pull out your money above a certain amount, well, you get charged like within the first 10 years, for example. There are surrender charges, that is true, but depending upon the purpose of the money, there's oftentimes a trade-off that actually works out in your favor. For example, if you tell the insurance company, hey, I'm gonna give you this 100 grand and I will let you play with the money for 10 years, the longer the insurance company has to play with your money, the more fair they're gonna be on guarantees. So you're gonna have a guarantee to never lose any of your principal, plus a very decent rate of return. Okay, so there is surrender charges, but often they they go away after 10 years, they'll say there's no liquidity. You can't get access to your money. There still is liquidity. So you can get 10%, 20% per year of your money if you need it. You just don't want to get access to all of it. If you need complete liquidity, don't look at a fixed index annuity. They'll say number three, if you pass away, the insurance company keeps the death benefit. Your loved ones do get a death benefit if you pass away. Those old types of pension plans are often where the, the death benefit is is gone if you don't live long enough, that's usually offered through employers, employer-sponsored pension plans. I've never sold one of those in my life. Very few insurance companies offer those, but yet advisors will use that to scare you. They may say that, hey, you're limited on upside because there's caps. You actually can participate in all of the market upside without the downside. Depending on the company and depending on the index that you're choosing, you don't have to use caps. You can use participation rates. So if the S&P does 10% and you have a 100% participation rate, you get to participate in all 100% of what the S&P did, which was 10. So you get 10%. Number five, they'll say there's very high account fees. A lot of these products have zero account fees. There are some variable annuities that do have pretty high fees. I don't like those personally. You know, you hear the gurus, Dave Ramsey, Rick Edelman, Susie Orman, Ken Fisher, they cast aspersions on annuities. I actually agree with them. There are some bad annuities, oftentimes they're referring to variable annuities because they are the highest fee-based product in the market. You still can lose your principal. If there is an income, it's stagnant, it doesn't grow. So I'm not a fan of those. With fixed index annuities, there's zero account fees, zero advisor fees, often zero rider fees. Now that's what advisors say. That's why they don't like fixed index annuities. Here's the real reason they don't like selling fixed index annuities. Let's say you're 60 years old and you have $1 million. Now, if you keep it in the market, assets under management, according to Forbes, the average total fee that you're gonna pay from the advisor fee to the account fee to the expense ratio combined is 2.1% in fees. That's what you're gonna pay collectively. Now that equals $21,000 per year that you're paying. Now I know what a lot of you guys are saying, I don't pay that much in fees. I promise you, you might even be paying more than that. We see it every day at our firm. Oftentimes people are paying two and a half to 3% in fees, uh, but we'll be conservative and say it's only 2.1. Now you're 60 years old. Between you and if you're married or if you've got a significant other, there's a pretty high likelihood with modern medicine that one of you is gonna live 30 years. Now, even if this $1 million never grows, okay, that 21,000 times 30 years assuming there's no more growth, that equals $630,000 in fees that you will pay out of your portfolio. For most people, if only you represent 630,000 in revenue, they're gonna tell you anything not to get you to move your money elsewhere. They're gonna tell, they're gonna cast dispersions on any other competitive product. The reason why is on the safe side, if you were doing an apples to apples comparison, and if, by the way, if you had all million dollars, you wouldn't put all million in an annuity, but let's just say 
you had more than a million. So you put a million dollars in something safe like a fixed index annuity. Now, they on average are going to pay seven and a half percent over your lifetime, okay? So that equals $75,000. The advisor will be paid on that annuity to take care of you for the rest of your life. You divide that by 30 years because you're gonna be around for 30 years. That equals $2,500 per year that the advisor's being paid to take care of you on the safe side. Here we have 2,500 versus 21,000. Can you see why the advisor's like, uh, you don't wanna buy this, you wanna stay here in the market when you're old and you need the money and can't afford much risk. They're gonna make almost 10 times as much. Now listen, I tell people this all the time. Everybody has a bias, including me. Everybody has an agenda. I think it's pretty clear that if your money's in the market, their agenda is, well, they're going to earn about $630,000 in fees minimum uh, over 30 years if you have a million bucks. Mine is, well, I'll earn $75,000 over 30 years, but here's the difference. You don't pay that money. That's paid as a commission from the insurance company. So over here, you pay nothing, it's safe. Over here, you lose your money and you potentially are gonna be paying upwards or more of 630,000 in fees. Here's the truth about fixed index annuities and why there's hundreds of billions of dollars going into them from the market this year alone. Number six, you can actually participate in different types of bonuses. Certain bonuses are not real, where if you pass away, your loved ones don't get the bonus. Then there's certain types of bonuses where if you do pass away, your loved ones do get the bonus. The, the catch often though is that it's paid out over five years, but it is oftentimes a 20, 30% bonus up front to make up for any losses that you probably took in the market. And that allows you to boost up your accumulation and boost up your death benefit. And the catch is, well, if you did die, the insurance company has time to pay out that death benefit over five years. Number seven, the long-term care doublers are often included in these different types of products. So if you can't qualify for long-term care because it's too expensive, this is a great way if it's paying you 5,000 bucks a month and you find yourself in a long-term care situation before you pass, that 5,000 jumps up to 10,000. Uh, it's a very powerful tool and it's included in a lot of these annuities for no extra charge. Number eight, this is the best one, increasing income. So imagine if you could get an increasing income where if it's paying you five grand a month, now next year is paying you 5,500, then the next year is paying you 6,100, then the next year is paying you 6,700, then the following year 7,300, and it continues to go up to offset inflation every single year. Your monthly check is growing. This is huge. Inflation is the number one cause of problems in everybody's retirement. It's the biggest monkey wrench in everybody's retirement plan. So having an increasing income is incredibly important. So you can see, yes, there are some things that they tell the truth on, but oftentimes the real truth is you represent a half million bucks, 750,000, a million dollars in revenue, and they're gonna tell you whatever you wanna hear to stay parked where you're at, where they can continue to charge you fees, and you, unfortunately, you don't grow by very much because the fees are eating away at any growth. So here's the deal. Some of those gurus, I won't mention any names, the ones who are adamantly against annuities, have been caught investing money in annuity companies. <gasps> what? They take your fee, and they're super against annuities, and then behind closed doors, they're investing in an annuity company. How fascinating. See, here's the thing. You can own your own annuity, which is the, the most competitive alternative to the market, or you can be your financial advisor's annuity and you pay them a monthly amount every single year for the rest of your life. You get to decide. But that's what you need to ask your financial advisor. Why don't you sell fixed index annuities? How much do you wanna bet they're gonna say some of these things? What they really mean is I make too much money on fees in the market.